Okay, this is an interesting one. And another video from Martin Linder. Thanks a lot, Martin. And I love the name Life Vacation. Now, this is interesting because the shop is a second-hand bottle shop. I don't think there's anything new in here. And I'm really going to be very unsure of a lot of the things we're looking at. So it's really just up to you to look. And price-wise, we're in Japanese yen. For US dollars, just knock off two digits to get a, an approximation. So, um, yeah. Okay, so that's Nika, right? Nika Minis, Suntory. What's that? So price-wise, that would be about $85. Is it excellent? <laughs> now... How old are some of these? That label on the Suntory White looked old. This also looks old, but they're again, it's only $40. So maybe it's just a, you never know what's old style versus old, old. I'll tell you if I recognize anything. I have no idea what that is. I can see the foil around the top looks pretty old. Suntory Old Whiskey is old. <laughs> a smooth, bottle of red label yeah that's see this one's more square and how old is the 15 gold label then yeah okay that does look like it's got a bit of age oh that's that's definitely looking old isn't it how much is that I wonder Look at that foil wrap at the top but then the shivas see that looks that glass looks nice and clean so I have no idea when and if they're still doing decanter, ceramic decanter style. $60 for the 21 year old? That's cheap, isn't it? Now they look pretty new. And uh, they've got plastic tops. Is that a plastic bottle? <laughs> I'm sure it's glass, but. The Dalmore, 12 years old, don't recognize the style. See, Wolfburn maybe a couple of years old. So this is really just anyone who brings whiskey into the shop is selling it. So I don't know what kind of licensing that would be. Certainly you can't do that in the US. Okay, now is that Lefroy Lore? Leg, hang on, doesn't say Lore on it. Is that a branding for the purposes of Japan? Um, interesting, the 1815 Legacy Edition. Epicurean. Does it say lore? Hmm. Anyway, it's about $108, so it suggests it's lore. I'm confused. <laughs> What's Monkey Shoulder doing in there? Wow, it's such a mix, you know, they're just. You got bourbons next to blends. White Horse. Hang on. That's not like White Horse. Uh, um, Oh, it's a blend white horse, isn't it? What's Glen Turner? Pure malt, Japanese term. I thought that was Dalmore. No, the Claymore. I guess we are in a blended section here, aren't we? Wow, what? <laughs> what an amazing mix. Monkey Shoulder, Kentucky Vintage. Wild Turkey, old label, is it? Well, it's expensive. Hundred dollars, so it's only eight years old. Better be something interesting. Mm -hmm. What a great shop shop to visit, though. I understand why Martin says it's his favourite shop to go into and just rummage around on the shelves and see what's in there. Mactala. Hang on, Morrison's is that like the British supermarket Morrison's? <laughs> Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, Ballantines, fair enough. Oh, a 30-year-old Ballantines. And then that's a new Glenbergie, isn't it? That's a brand new release, that bottle. Next to this 17-year-old that looks like it's been on the shelf for a while. So, really, it is a little bit of a uh, thrift store of whiskey. They look like minis, right? Are they mini? Yes. Minis are very collectible, but it's not something I've ever really looked into. I see them at the auction. You see the minis occasionally. 
or I look at them occasionally, I should say. Fill levels are often suspect. Oh, right. Actual Japanese whiskey, is it? Yes. In the glass cabinet. Oh, 17-year-old pure malts for what? Around 300, $330. 700 for the Hakushu 18. Um, oh, hang on, that was 1400. These are... Well, of course, they could be very old things as well. So what's that? It's $1,000 for the Hibiki 21. 700 for that Blossom Harmony version. So, yeah, I mean, I'm... Oh, hang on, that's an empty... <laughs> That's an <laughs> empty container. Was that really an empty decanter? So hang on, we're talking about 400 or 800. I guess these are all different vintages of 12s, aren't they? Of 12-year-old Yamazakis, because it's not that expensive a bottle. Oh, some nice labels. I have no idea what they are. The essence of Suntory. Hmm. I guess a range of different finishes. Let's see, peated, rye, yeah. They look fairly new style bottles. Little prototype bottles, oh, like exploration series. Oh, <laughs> hang on, is that a giant bottle or are those other ones minis? I guess they're normal size bottles. I have no idea. Yeah, I really do not recognize anything here. Of course, the labels are, maybe these are uh, Japan only releases. They're certainly not cheap ones, are they? Oh, it's malt and grain. Oh, well, yes, I guess a blended. Could be a pure malt or something, couldn't it? In Japan. I beg black. Okay, 330-ish for the black, for the 46% version. That is definitely not a cheap one. Well, that looks like an old Glamour orangey. $400 for it. Oh, I love Lefroy 18. 260 US equivalent. Yeah, I guess that's what it's costing at auctions now. How old is that? Oh, it's a 12-year Glendronic. Hey, Springbank. That's got to be an old Springbank. Almost $350-ish, was it? Oh, some interesting ones in here. Kildalton. Kildalton. Is that Ardbeg? Or is it actually something else? I really don't know. Um, Eagle Rare. It does look like a rare one. Alongside some Blantons. Oh, Blant Blanton's gold. Oh, thanks, Martin. That was fantastic. What a place. <laughs>